Hello everyone, welcome to the Dwin D. Gus training. Since many friends are curious about how to update project files by sending UART commands. Today I will teach you to use AA command to realize it. It can be divided into three steps. File starting location. File to VP. And VP to flash. First we need to calculate the file starting location. Usually the external memory of Dwin screen is 16 megabytes flash. Mode 1, we can split it into 64 pieces 256 kilobytes storage blocks. 13, 14, 22, 32 files are stored in 256 kilobytes. Mode 2. We can split 16 megabytes into 512 pieces 32 kilobytes data blocks. Since 13, 14, 22, 32 files are based on 256 kilobytes block, while AA command is based on 32 kilobytes block. So we need to recalculate the file starting location based on 32 kilobytes data block. Then we can come to the following conclusion. 13 file equals 13 asterisk 256 slash 32 equals 104 equals 0x0068. The file starting location is 68. The calculation results for 14, 22, 32 files are similar. We've learned it before. 13 bin is the touch file, 14 bin is the display file, 22 bin is the initialization file, and 32 ICL is the background image file. So you can update the corresponding file according to your needs. In the second step, we need to write the data in the file to the VP address. This VP address is a temporary storage address and needs to not conflict with the VP address you set. Look at this command. 5AA5 is the frame header. F3 equals 243 is the command length. 82 means writing command. 8000 is the VP address. This is the data in the file. For ease of calculation, we specify the maximum of 240 bytes data can be sent at once. Because one VP address equals 2 bytes. 240 bytes slash 2 equals 120 equals 0 x 78. So the VP address of next command is VP plus 78 equals 8078. The following is the next 240 bytes of data in the file. So how to get the file data? We need to use UDIT32 to open the file. This is file data page. Since one command takes 240 bytes, one line has 16 bytes, so we need 15 lines per command. In this way, send 240 bytes data per command until all data is sent. The third step is to write the VP address data to flash. Look at this command. 5AA5 is the frame header. 0F equals 15 is the command length. 82 means writing command. 00AA is the system VP address. Means writing command to the flash. 5A is the enable flag. 02 is the operation mode. 0100 is 32 ICL file starting location. This is the result of the first step. 8000 is the VP address, which is the same mentioned in step 2. The next 6 bytes are undefined, write 00. Finally, we need to send this reset command to see the update effect. I've prepared two projects. In order to better display update effect. 413 bin, project 1 has no touch control. Project 2 has sliding touch control. 414 bin, project 1 is the white icon. Project 2 is the black icon. 422 bin, project 1 is 210 o'clock. 
Project 2 is 14 o'clock. For 32 ICL, Project 1 has a white background. Project 2 has a black background. Now please follow me to do it. This is Udit 32, which you can download from the official Dwin website. We start by updating 13 bin file. Use Udit 32 to open the 13 bin file. You can see that there are 34 bytes within 240 bytes. So we only need to send one command. Open the serial assistant. First, write file data to VP. 5AA5 is the frame header. 0 times 25 is equal to 37 is the length of the command. 82 means writing command. 8000 is the VP address. Then copy the data in the file. You can see that we failed to paste. I have a method for copying the file data. First, select all the data in the file. Right click and choose hexadecimal copy selected view. Then select file and click new. Control plus V to paste the data. Finally, select the column and click column mode. So we can copy the file contents. Click send. Next, write VP data to flash. 5AA5 is the frame header. 0F equals 15 is the command length. 82 means writing command. 00AA is the address of the system variable. Write commands to the flash. 5A is the enable flag. 02 is the operation mode. 0068 is 13 bin file starting location. This is what we calculated earlier. 8000 is the VP address for saving data. The next 6 bytes are undefined, write 00. Click send. Finally send reset command. 5AA5078200455 AA5 AA5. Click send. Slide the button. And we can see it has touch capability. Which means the 13 touch file has been successfully updated. Now let's start updating the 14 bin display file. Similar to the 13 file. Use Udit32 to open the 14 bin file. Select all the data in the file. Right click and choose hexadecimal copy selected view. Click New. Control plus V to paste the data. Finally, click column mode. Open the serial assistant. First, write file data to VP. 5AA5 is the frame header. 0xf3 equals 243, which is the length of the command. 82 means writing command. 8000 is the VP address. Then copy 240 bytes of data. Click send. The second command, modify the corresponding VP and data content. The rest remain the same. VP plus 0x78 equals 8078. Then copy the next 240 bytes of data. If you are confused about the VP address and the location of the data, I have made an Excel that will allow you to query the VP and location. For example, the second command. VP address is 0x8078. Its location is 00F0 to 01DF. Find the 240 bytes of data and then copy them to the serial assistant. Click Send. Scroll down to the end, it's a total of 407F bytes. 0x407F equals 16511 slash 240 equals 68.7. This means we need to send 69 commands. Since the operation is the same, I will not repeat it. These are the commands I have prepared in advance, just send them one by one.
It is worth noting the last command. Query the Excel. Because it's not 240 bytes. But 12 times 16 is equal to 192 bytes. So the data length needs to be changed to 192 plus 3 equals 0 xc3. 82 means writing command. 407f is between 3fc0 and 40af. So vp is 9f0. And then copy the rest of the data. Click Send. Next, write VP data to Flash. 5AA50F8200AA5A020070. 0070 indicates the 14 bin file starting location. 8000. Write 00 for the rest. Click Send. Finally, send reset command. You can see 14 bin file has been updated. The icon background has turned black. Next is the 22 initialization file. I've found a way to update it quickly. Open the 22 bin file. Copy the data to the new page. And select column mode. It can be observed that only 6000H have data, while everything else is zero. So we just need to update the data in this area. Query the Excel. At 6000H, the corresponding VP is AFD0. The start variable address is 5FA0. First, write file data to VP. 5AA5F382. VP is AFD0. Then paste the 240 bytes data. Click Send. Next, write VP data to Flash. 5AA50F8200AA5A0200B0. 00B0 indicates the 22 bin file starting location. VP is still 8000. Write 00 for the rest. Click Send. Finally, send reset command. You can see 22 initialization file has been updated. 21 o clock turns to 14 o clock. Finally, update the 32 ICL background file. Use UDIT32 to open the 32 ICL file. Open the Serial Assistant. Delete the original SCOM51 file. Open the 32 ICL INI folder. Copy the new SCOM51 file to this folder. So we can use the commands I prepared in advance. You can see that the commands have been saved to the extension page on the right. First, write file data to VP. 5AA5 is the frame header. 0XF3 equals 243, which is the command length. 82 means writing command. 8000 is the VP address. Copy the data to the new page. And select column mode. Then copy 240 bytes of data. Click Send. The second command, modify the corresponding VP and data content, the rest remain the same. Query the Excel. The area of the second command is 00F0 to 01DF. VP plus 0x78 equals 8078. Then copy the next 240 bytes data. Click Send. Scroll down to the end, it's a total of 4,647 bytes. 0x4647 equals 17991 slash 240 equals 75. This means we need to send 75 commands. 
send the commands one by one. It is worth noting the last command. Query the Excel. The 75th command. VP is A to B0. Its starting location is 4560. So the data length is 14 times 16 plus 8 is equal to 232 bytes. Therefore, the command length is 232 plus 3 equals 0 XEB. 5AA5EB82. VP is A2B0. And then copy the rest of the data. Click Send. Next, write VP data to Flash. 5AA50F8200AA5A02100. Indicates the starting location of 32 ICL file. 8000. Write 00, 00 for the rest. Click Send. You can see that the 32 background images have been updated. The white background has turned into black. This update method is complex, requiring constant replication and query of VP address. A small mistake can cause the update to fail. So my suggestion is to use SD card or UART download tool to download will be more convenient. Thanks for watching.